In this video, we're going to be exploring how to set up a pop-up form from OmniSend on our WordPress website. So let's get started. There's a couple of things that you're going to need before we get started. One is obviously an OmniSend account. The second one is that you're going to need a WordPress website self-hosted, not from WordPress.com. And the third thing you're going to need, at least in this example, is WooCommerce already installed. From there, we're going to install an OmniSend plugin, and that will connect our account on OmniSend to our WooCommerce store. So let's get started with that process right now. So I've logged into my OmniSend account. I'm under account over here under account management, and I clicked on stores over here on the left hand side. And you see here that I've already connected one store. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new store here and then add the plugin to our other WordPress website that has a WooCommerce store already set up. So we'll click on add a new store. We're going to call it our name here and our website and our platform, of course, will be WooCommerce. And then we do have to put in an address here and click on add store. Now that we have our store added to our OmniSend account, we can go over to our WordPress website and install the OmniSend plugin. So we'll go over to add plugins. I've already typed in OmniSend as a search and this is the plugin that you'd want. So we'll click on install now and then click activate. Once it's activated, you get a prompt at the very top of your plugins page to get started with OmniSend to connect your account. We'll click on get started. We're gonna then connect our OmniSend account to this plugin. So we'll click on connect your account. It'll do its check and it'll say, hey, you've already have a store connected to your account. Select another store from your account. So since we have already created our second store, we can click on select another store from your account and we're gonna select security drive. Then presented with this page to give permission to OmniSend read write access to our WooCommerce store. So we will say approve. Okay, and then they've already pre-selected some brand assets, some colors, the logo. So you can change the font, you can bring in different uh, social links that's already brought in, all that good stuff. Amazing that they can do that on the fly, even with the right colors and everything. And for now, we're just gonna click on save brand assets. The next thing we wanna do is we want to create our pop-up form. So we can do launch a signup form right here. It's one of the four things that they recommend that you do to complete these goals to increase your sales. So we're gonna complete one of those right now by setting up a signup form. So click on launch signup form. You're taking it to this page where it is a pop-up, which is exactly what we want. Now let's get the lay of the land here a little bit. So at the very top, there is an edit button where we can edit the name of our form. So we're gonna call this security driver 10% off pop-up and click update. So we have that set. On the left-hand side are items that you can add to your form. So you can add an email box, a phone number, if you wanna do SMS marketing, some radio buttons or a checkbox if you want people to check off things that they might be interested in. Uh, something that is called a wheel of fortune, which is really cool. I might do a future video on that. And also you have layouts. So you could do one column, two column, three column, four column, and a mixed. On the right hand side is behaviors. What do you want to happen with this form? Do you want to tag somebody with this form? What type of tag? How many tags? They give you a couple of options here that are already set, form subscriber and a welcome discount, but you can add in any tags that you'd like. The next one is when do you want to show this form? Do you want to start it on a particular date, end it on a particular date, or have a start and end date, or always show the form? Then we have display. Is it based on page visits, the amount of time on the page, how far a person scrolls down, or is it an exit intent? So when they move, move the mouse off the page up at the top, like they're going to click the back button or something, or the close button on the tab, is that when you want to show this form? Then we have targeting. Do you want to target all visitors? Do you want to only show it to existing contacts? Do you only want it to appear on certain URLs or does not appear on certain other URLs or appears only for out of stock products? Then we have frequency. Frequency has to do with how, when the form will appear again if a person is not subscribing. So you could do one day, three days, hours. And the last one here is A-B testing. Besides behavior, you have theme settings, you have form layout, how wide you want the form, if you want a background image, how do you want to position the background image? How do you want the form position? Then we have colors. So you can go in here and change the link color if you wanted to. 
And then we also have fields. So what type of font do you want in the field? What type of color do you want in the field? Error color fields, all that good stuff. What type of close button you'd like? What type of background do you want it? And what type of color you'd like it? Or do they need to close by clicking outside the form? But now that we have the lay of the land on this form setup, we're going to go with what we have here, get your 10% off your first order, be the first to hear about new product drops, enter your email, get 10% off. Powered by OmniSend, it's gonna be in there because even though I've connected a second store, this, this second store is on a free plan. So I'm gonna keep everything as it is. I'm gonna go over to behavior. We're gonna add a tag here. And we wanna call this a 10% off for our tag. I'm gonna click on create new. Uh, form subscriber, not sure if I want that one, nor is it a welcome discount. So we'll remove those two and we'll keep on 10% off. We're not gonna enable double opt in. We'll click back. Scheduling will always show the form. Under display, we're going to go with time on page and we'll say 10 seconds. Maybe scroll depth as well, and we'll say 50%. All right, so that's our display. Targeting, we wanna target all visitors, but we only want this to appear on the store page. We're gonna add in our store URL, and our store URL is there, so that's where it's going to appear. So that would be our targeting. Visibility, we're gonna show on all devices, and frequency of when not to show, don't show again after interacting with the form, uh, we'll say maybe seven days. And we'll skip over the A-B testing for now. So down the bottom here, you'll see that we have this step one and step two. Step two is, so this is a two-step form signup process. And I, right now, I don't want people to enter their phone numbers. So what I can do here is just click on the three dots here and click on delete. So that will remove our two-step process and make it a one-step process. Our next thing that we have to look at is the success message. So right now it says, thanks for signing up. As a thank you, you'll find a 10% discount in your inbox. And I think that's fine for now. And if a person has already subscribed and already gotten the 10% discount in their inbox, they'll see a, hey, you've already subscribed. <laughs> you can't subscribe again. So for now, I just wanna click on save and close because the next step is to set up an automation so that people will get the 10% discount to their inbox after they have subscribed with this tag. Make sense? So we'll click on save and close for now. So then we wanna go over to the automation tab. I wanna click on, I don't wanna start an abandoned cart workflow. I wanna click on explore all workflows because this is a specific thing that we're doing. So what we're gonna do, since I don't see one available here specific to discount, uh, I'm gonna click create from scratch. And our first option here is define how a person enters this workflow. Well, we know that they're gonna be getting a tag applied when they fill out that form. So what we wanna do over on the trigger side here, on the right-hand side, we wanna select an event. And our event is sign up, which is right here. And then our audience filter, is, tag, is, and then the 10% off. So anyone who signs up with the tag 10% off, we want them to go through this automation. Make sense? So we'll click on save. Our next step in the process is to send them the email with the discount code. So we'll drag over email. And OmniSend is doing a fantastic job of making sure that you know about the February 2024 requirements from Yahoo and Gmail and to accomplish these three step actions. But for right now, we're gonna click on a subject line and we're gonna keep it very basic. Say, thanks, here is your discount code. New sales as a pre-header, something like that. Sender's name will be our name. And then we have to, because this is a new store account associated, we'll have to add our sender's email. So let's click on that. We're gonna click save on our workflow so far. So let's add an email address and we will do this email address here. We'll click on save and then we will have to verify it. So we've now verified our email address. We can go back to our automation. Here's our custom workflow number two that we're working on. Open that up. We can click on edit on that title so we know this is for our 10% discount for STC. And we'll click on update and go back to our email. 
Now we're gonna click on edit content. It's already got our logo in there. It's already got our footer in there. So what we wanna do, mouse over quick add, and we want to add our unique discount code right there. And one of the great things with Omnisend is that it auto generates a one-off discount code. They're all different. So if another person signs up, they're gonna get a different discount code, which is really cool and it works flawlessly with WooCommerce. And so we do wanna add a little text before that, and we'll just say, hey, here is your discount code. Thanks so much for becoming a subscriber. Be on the lookout for future Valentine's Day sales. So we've got a little text in there. We've got our logo. Click on the redeem discount and you have some options over here about the discount. So we're doing a percentage. You can also do a fixed amount. You can apply to all orders or you can do a minimum order price. We'll do all orders. Uh, you can set up an expiration date for, for a person to use the coupon. Set it as default as 14 days. Under button, you can change the text of the button and the URL. We are going to change that to the is the store, which is the URL of our store. And we can do different button styles and alignments and colors of the button and padding. All right. And then we go over to layout and then we can do the layout of our email. So we can change the padding. We can change the color. We're going to keep everything default. So if we click on send a test email, it will send it to this address or you can send it to any address. Click on send. And here's our preview of what it's going to look like. Obviously, when a person receives it and not a test email, it's going to be the actual discount code. And then if we click that link, it will take us to the store. So that all looks great. And then we can also do a preview here back in OmniSend. So we've got our footer in there. And again, it's not going to show us the discount code until we actually send it. And then we can look at what it's going to look at in mobile. And that looks fine to me as well. So we'll click the X and we'll click on finish editing will take us back to our workflow. And so we've got our filtering and then we've got that. So a couple of more things to take a look at when you're doing the automation workflows is what type of exit conditions. So you can select, uh, they've added a product to their cart, they clicked on the message, uh, the message was sent or they opened the message, that type of thing. And the next process is to not re-trigger workflows for contacts who've already been in this automation and we'll click on update. Now with our automation all set, we can click on start workflow. The next thing we have to do is go back to our forms and enable our form. So here is our form and we're gonna click on enable. And the great thing with the connection already done with OmniSend and WooCommerce slash WordPress is that it will automatically appear when anyone goes to the page. So what we're going to do is just to get a fresh copy from, from the server, we're going to go click on visit store here in a private window. And we're going to scroll down a little bit, 50%, and wait for our pop-up to appear, maybe after 10 seconds as well. So I have those two things as options. There you go. There's your pop-up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to enter an email address and make sure this is working properly. So we'll click on get 10% code. We'll get 10% off. Click on that. It'll say, thanks for signing up. As a thank you, you'll find a 10% discount in your inbox. So what we're going to do is click the X there. So we exit out of that. Click the X there. So we exit out of incognito mode. Then we go back over to our email and see if we get an email. And just like that, here it is right here. Thanks. Here's your discount code. We open it up. And here is your discount code. And the actual code is available there. If you have any questions about this process of setting up OmniSend with WooCommerce slash WordPress or setting up a pop-up form on your WordPress website with OmniSend, post them in the comments below. Happy to help anywhere I can. If you're interested in learning more about OmniSend, I have a link in the description that you can go check out. Thanks so much. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.